Okay, everybody, today we're going to go over factoring quadratic functions. Let's not forget that when we're talking about factoring quadratic functions, we refer to the form ax to the second power plus bx plus c. And our objective is to come up with the multiplication that will give me this as my answer. So let's get started. We have the, equa the quadratic x to the second power plus 4x minus 12. In this case, we need to start by making sure that we understand who is A, who is B, and who is C. A is always the number in front of my x to the second power. In this case, there is nothing, which means there's an invisible one. Also, B is the number in front of the x. In this case, I have a positive 4, so B is 4. At last, we need the value of c, and c is the number that has no variable, in this case, negative 12. Negative 12. So the process that we've been following is very simple. We're going to do a times c. So in this case, a times c means that I'm going to do 1 times negative 12. So the answer is negative 12. Now, out of negative 12, I need to find the factors, two factors, a multiplication that will give me the answer negative as the answer negative 12. But when I combine those two numbers, I get a positive 4. So we can start working with, well, I have 6 times 2, 3 times 4, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But again, don't forget, the result should be, when you combine them, positive 4. So in this case, I'm going to do 6 times negative 2. I have to have at least one of them to be negative for my answer to be negative. Why am I picking those two? Because when I combine those two, my answer is 4. So again, remember, when I combine my factors, my answer should be the B value or middle number if you want to see it that way. So my factors are 6 and negative 2, meaning that my multiplication is going to be x plus 6, because that's my first factor, times x minus 2, because negative 2 is my second factor. So this is what we're saying. If I multiply x plus 6 times x minus 2, I will get x to the second power plus 4x minus 12. These are my factors. But we are utilizing currently these factors to find the roots. How do we do that? So you're going to take your first factor, x plus 6, x plus 6, and I'll make it equal to 0. And you're going to do exactly the same with the second factor, x minus 2 equal to 0. We're going to solve for x in both cases, minus 6, minus 6, those cancel, I get a negative 6, plus 2, plus 2, those cancel, I end up with a 2. These are my roots, meaning... If I take a value of negative 6 and evaluate here with an x value of negative 6 here and here, all this will turn into 0. But that's not the only option. I, the same will happen if I use a positive 2. I evaluate x as a 2, meaning I replace x with 2, x with 2. All this will turn into 0. So our factors and our roots.